All right, we're talking the truck series here in this one, and this is a much more straightforward, regular, regular type of racing and stuff. I, I mean, this now, I like how like anybody and their uncle can lead a lap in the Cup Series at Bristol, depending on when cautions come out. It's very selective and very telling uh, regarding the Truck Series guys on who's most likely going to finish well, who's going to maintain a running position, yada yada yada. And so for me, just real fast, one thing that I want to look at here is the races that we have seen at the Bristol Motor Speedway in the truck series. Let me just make sure that these are the, yep. I gotta make sure I did not pull the, or like, can you select via the damn truck series stuff? The, all right, cool, man. When we look at the truck series and everything that runs here, I want you to look at one thing specifically. What stands out to you that, and yet again, I'm using the last two races here because one, the main thing is also I, I don't pull this stuff, and especially for like Bristol and stuff. I don't pull all this stuff for like the Bristol races and stuff. I just don't need to waste my time doing that. But like when we look at the teams here, okay, like clearly just realistically looking at the starting grid, we know Tricon's going to compete. Rev Racing's going to compete. Tricon, Spire, or let me change good, bad. Good, bad. Good, 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 eh. Good, eh bad good good eh good i mean this is magan alley so like they're decent like anchor's gonna run 11th all day Eck is gonna compete for the win we're not playing Ryum. i mean ty dylan whatever if he shows pd whatever uh ideally ugly team ugly team mm, depending on one lane rigs yeah bailey and matt mills yeah we're not playing daniel dykes daniel dykes sucks duck sucks uh Caden, depending on where knee starts, is fine. We're not playing Thad Moffat. He's terrible. Stuart Friesen, if he shows speed and practice, we can get there. Realistically, we're not going to be able to afford Timmy Hill. We're not playing Connor Jones unless he's super cheap. Good team. Bad. Bad. Good. Eh. Bad. Zane Smith in the McNally car. Could elevate him to at least, you know, anywhere from 6th to 12th best. Ty Majeski yet again, 6th to 12th best. Rhodes going to sit right in around 11th. And the bad. And so when we look at where, when we look at the top 15 average running position teams, and we just look at the people who are actually here who could do it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. These are 15, but I'm going to count them 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, I've highlighted 18 drivers. Most likely, those 18 drivers I just said are going to be in the top 18 positions in these races. Why is that so important here? When we look at where the Bristol race is with the truck series, I want you to notice the main thing, or the main thing that I want you to notice was the average starting position of these drivers compared with their average finish. Now, this is a stat that I very rarely, and I would implore you to almost nearly never use. However, in situations like this for the truck series, this is a great... Uh, tool to emphasize where these guys are now i understand why am i using two years well, because the truck series changes so much as i've mentioned in other truck series videos this year we're not using any old data set there's so many new teams so many new people jumping up the ranks we're seeing spire basically take over where kbm was and so we don't even use old data for that we're seeing that thor sport is kind of falling down a little bit we're seeing you know sanchez and rev racing going to be a third best car ekis and all the McAnally cars are all going to compete for a top 10. We're seeing that when you actually put people who are like competent in a Nice car, <laughs> you know, uh, Mills and what's his face? I mean, even Caden too. But Bailey Curry, like these guys can drive the Nice car into 15th and just hold there all day. Uh, so, like, we're not using old stuff. Um, we're literally just understanding where these guys fall in line now. But when you look at where people have done in not even similar equipment, like the Gray Brothers, for example. Like um, Tanner Gray, if I believe he qualified well the first year, last year, where did he qualify? Yeah, so he qualified sixth one year, fell 29th, started 26th last, and basically this is like his, you know, not necessarily first race ever, but like clearly, you know, Tanner Gray in 2022 is not the Tanner Gray we have in 2024. He's got a lot more experience. He's not wrecking shit every week. Like, you know, and so like, Gray brothers have both shown that they're going to compete for top tens this year. We know where these teams fall in terms of speed. You know, when we look at 
in situations or when we look at the fields here, and yet again, we only have 34 cars that have actually ran. We have more, we have more cars, and this might be racing reference because they sometimes pull shitty stuff. I'm, there's got to be at least 39 people who have started races. I, I find it hard to believe that we've only had 34 cars um, start races here. Let's just let's check that real fast. Let's watch these. Can we find a race here? That has had more than 34 cars, because otherwise Race and Reference is lying to us real fast. So, like, let's see. Wow, 36. Interesting, Race and Reference. Wow, 36. Interesting, Race and Reference. Who are you not pulling here? This is what I'm, I just, I don't like it when people are lazy and don't get their stuff to pull correctly. Like, you're telling me, like, Race and Reference is missing people again? Wow, it's so surprising. Whatever, anyway. When we're looking at the races here. And I'm just going to keep this up on the screen because this is a good idea of how people have done recently here. Which, yet again, I want to use where they're starting this week, what they're showing in practice, what how the car has been performing this year. I find it hard to believe when we're looking... Let me move this back over here. I find it hard to believe that we don't have... I mean, we even have Kyle Busch in the Spire car. I find it hard to believe that your top five isn't whether it be finishing, running, best cars, Kyle Busch, Eckes, uh, William, Sarra William Sawalish, um, Kyle, William, Eckes, who else am I going to say? I just went blank on the other guy. Sanchez. Uh, like those, uh, and he, I mean, William's not going to compete for a win, so then maybe we'll, we'll move him down to like eighth and stuff. But like, those are like your favorite guys going in. And you have Zane Smith, who's going to be competing in 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 the in the in the Spire machine. Like I I don't know. Like for me, when I look at this Bristol race here, it's going to be the good teams finishing up front. We're probably going to at least have to punt somewhere, and that'll probably be the cheapest guy starting the back of the field. But past that, I think this race is pretty easy to determine where people are going to be in the top five. Top 10 best cars, top 15 best cars. We're seeing that basically if you start up front, and I understand we have some one-offs to where like Derek Krause started sixth and, you know, finished. Where do you finish here? I mean, it says 10th, but he's been pushed down based on, um, what is this sorting it by? It's got to be by top. That's by points. Let's change that. Let's go with average finish, which we're probably going to see be very similar to average start. Which yeah, that's right. What we see. So basically, if you if you start up well, you got a fast car in practice, you're gonna finish pretty well here, you know. Uh, so like Derek Krause, yeah, starts first, finish six, leads twenty seven laps. Like, if you start up front, guys, you most likely have a good car. You most likely are gonna finish up front outside of being wrecked and taken out and stuff. But play the guys up front. Play the guys that show speed in practice. Play the guys that qualify well. It's it's literally not. Uh, that hard, which is which is such a drastically different thing for the Cup Series because like these races are significantly shorter. We're only looking at 200 laps in the Truck Series race, where it's 500 for the Cup Series. You know, that that that's wildly that's wildly a different situation here, especially when we're looking at like let's just look at like these two races here in terms of actually let me I have them here actually. When we look at 2022 and we look at the amount of yellows that we have, average run is only 21 laps in this one. The quarter of the race is under caution. But specifically, when you look at the amount of laps lost and wasted during the cautions, okay, 10 laps, 10 laps. I mean, I mean, not, but you know what I mean, like eight, you know, eight here whatever it is but we're basically losing i mean this is a pretty short one here they turned that around probably because we had the end of a stage to get to and we didn't want to burn a ton of laps off but we're seeing that if it's like a real yellow we're losing like four laps if not more i mean we're generally speaking in my opinion we're we're gonna lose anywhere from like probably seven to eleven laps on a caution period we have four to three yellows here in this race that's 50 laps removed of green flag racing that's 50 laps worth of fast lap points removed in this race when we look at the other one here you know average green flag run at 31 laps 16 percent was uh was under yellow here and this one went pretty green but we're still seeing we're losing eight laps here we're losing well we lost four here lost about 10 lost eight here 
So like even in a situation where it goes green, we're still losing, you know, about 38, probably to 45 fast lap potential. And with how this is last, yeah, this is last year's race. When we look at where people are actually running outside of crashes and stuff, we're having a lot of people still running. We're having a lot of people still contending for positions on the lead lap, which is important specifically for the truck series and stuff, especially when you're looking at value plays and things of that nature. Um, but it's very hard to catch a leader once they get to the front. When we look at these guys and how they lead laps based on where they started and what they're showing here, Kraus, you know, Eckes, early lap leaders. Once people got through the field, Ty Majeski took over. Once Zane Smith drove through the field, he took over. Like, it was guys who were either start up front, who showed good short run speed in practice, good in practice in general, or the best cars getting up through the field. When we look at the race in 2023, we look at, wow, you know, the best car in practice, fastest car in qualifying, took over, destroyed the field. All right, what about this? Zane Smith led laps here, got, you know, thrown uh, into the back of the field during uh, just sequencing and stuff. And then he got in trouble. I forgot if he had speeding or damage and, and whatnot. But let's go ahead and see where Zane Smith led between. Ran into an issue here. So actually, he led pretty early. He, he was a secondary lap leader. Um, and he got removed and stuff. And so anyway, when I'm looking at the truck series and stuff, I'm going to look at the practice data, who's fast there. I want to look at who's starting up front. If it's checking the boxes of, hey, if it's a, is it a good team? Is it Tricon? Is it Spire? Is it, you know, Nick Sanchez? Is it, a, like, I don't know, kind of common sense guys? Like, I would be, I mean, outside of Ty Majeski, I don't really want to chase, you know, Thor Sport because I think you're going to be beat in general by the other teams. But uh, I don't know. Like, truck series at Bristol, it's not that different from other races. I know it's a short track, but, like, the fast car is going to be there, man. Uh, it, it's not a surprise of who of who is fast in the truck series. Like it's gonna be a good team, good car. Like I don't know. It just that is my opinion for the truck series. I'm more excited for the truck series on Saturday than I am for the Cup series on Sunday. Anyway, that's my uh, my quick preview. We'll be live on Saturday. I don't even know what time the truck race is at, but I'll probably be live at least an hour before talking about this race, which yet again should be pretty straightforward. Oh, it's a, it's a night race. Okay, that makes it easy. So I'll probably be live at probably 6 Eastern time on Saturday. I think that's uh, probably what I would initially want to do. So 6 Eastern time talking the truck series at Bristol. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.